Hey guys, Squid Guy here bringing you the Pokemon TCG online deck profile, and today we are bringing you Archeops Pyro, so the Maxis Pyro deck that we just released on my channel probably two days ago, I want to say, something like that, yesterday, something odd like that. But my, as you can see, my hand isn't the greatest, and we are per more than likely versing Metal Ray, which means we gotta draw something really really good here and I don't see it happening so yeah this could be a pretty big problem overall here I really don't want to take any of this but we'll take the blacksmith for now just because I have a feeling it'll be more useful overall later on here we're gonna mill our eggs and an archaeops uh, not the computer search the egg that would have been bad to do here we opened up double Jirachi, which is obviously bad, but we do get the Scorched Earth and double Jirachi again, which is really, really bad at this point. Uh, we do want to attach the energy here, and yeah, that's basically about it. I don't think we want to go for Maxis or anything like that. Maybe if we draw an Ultra Ball, we'll go for Maxis here, because I can discard the Jirachi and the Pyro here. It won't mean all that much, so... There is that. Plus, I could also just play the Pyro, Max, get a Max, he's off one Drachi, discard one Drachi, and use an Execute. So, overall, I think we're in an okay position. We do draw the Evil Soda, which is kind of what we don't want to see at this point. Here, we will end here again, mostly because we just aren't drawing what we need, essentially. Here, I'll attach the Fire Energy, and we will pass, I think. Now, not getting out Archaeops in this deck can really, really hurt the deck. As you can see, he just evolved, which is obviously really, really bad. But he is attaching energy to it, so I don't mind it all that much. Now, the good thing that we have going for us in this matchup is the fact that we do have his weakness going. So this is a big thing to do in this deck is having weakness. We usually don't get it too often. We usually don't verse many steel decks overall. But to have weakness is kind of a luxury to us, I guess you could say. Here, we could max these essentially next turn, so we're just going to pass. We'll Evo Soda here and grab the Ultra Ball. Or, I mean, uh, Acro Bike and grab the Ultra Ball. This just kind of secures the maxes here. Basically, I can do whatever I want next turn, depending on what I draw. Now, if I draw into a Pyro, it does kind of suck, but it doesn't hurt us all that much. We just get discard the Evo Soda then over everything if that makes sense because I'll just manually evolve and after that I think we might just win this game just outright because of that now we will Evo Soda even though we technically don't have to here here I have to get rid of the VS no we don't have to get rid of the VS Seeker uh, I gotta hold on to the VS Seeker and just discard the maxes here so we can just do this um, yeah right here and we can just grab let's say another litleo here and place that down on the bench and trainers mail here we don't have to grab anything with trainers mail which is nice and then here we can just discard that blacksmith out of our deck and the last maxis hidden ball trick out of our deck now we play the maxis get the archaeops down and now we finally have our lock going here i accidentally clicked vs seeker but we'll grab an n off of it because it's more than likely what i draw anyways and here i do this though i'd rather grab the sick more actually now that i think about it because you know my tank is out and it can do potentially 110 damage to it essentially sorry i stretched right there in the middle of everything here we do see the Wally for the Metagross, which is kind of big here. Um, it's not end of the world, but it's pretty big overall. So it does tell us his Metagross is probably not all that keen on doing things, if that makes sense. Here we will try to Trainer's Mail, so I can VS Seeker again. Though I might have just burned my last VS Seeker, which would be kind of bad. Um... So we are kind of in a tight position with deck out, stuff like that, but there's just nothing we can really do about it. We had to do it this way because of the way we drew. We didn't get the opener of the maxi, so we had to focus on it later on. So here we'll just do this. He'll probably just retreat and come out into Metagross anyways and start attacking, which wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Um, I do get the DCE here. We will just attach the Pyro, I think, and go for the Trainer's Mail. We do hit the Acrobike, 
and we will acrobike hit the computer search we'll take the computer search and we'll just pass here I don't want to overextend we don't have enough fire energy to attack stuff like that so of course all that stuff is bad when we're playing this deck we this deck's very meticulous and we kind of have to do everything pretty much picture perfect if that makes sense we do see another Rayquaza but it does nothing here um, right now the only thing that we're kind of scared of in the slightest is this Metagross and because of that if we just target it I have a feeling we'll win he does Sycamore it away right away which is kind of odd but it's a newer metal deck and you can tell because it's actually running Metagross so he is promoting back his Rayquaza so we'll go back up into this Pyroar which I think will just kind of probably win us the game here here I'll discard this uh Battle Compressor and this Ultra Ball, and hopefully we do have our last VS Seeker in deck, and we don't, so this is kind of big, but we'll just grab the Fire Energy, I guess. Um, from here on out, we will just conserve all of our energy and all of the cards in our hand, because we are running low on cards, we only have 9 cards left, but hopefully we can start taking prizes, stuff like that. So this Archaeops here is pretty big. Um, so we only have the one end left to use too, so we can't just like miraculously make Archaeops retreat. I kind of have to top deck into a DCE here, and this might be what loses us the game. So there are big counters to the deck, and this is one of them, and the fact that uh, Archaeops can be taken out is kind of a big factor in the deck. I won't even lie. It can be really, really big and really, really basically demoralizing. Um, here, even though we got our lock set up, just because we didn't draw well enough means we lose the game, in my opinion. I don't have another VS Seeker to just get another Maxis, if that makes sense. And even if I did, I think I might still lose just due to deck out. So here it's kind of big that uh, we might actually lose here. It really depends. Um, I will take the prize on the Rayquaza though, depending on what we draw here, it could be good or bad. So I did get the VS Seeker, which means I can Lysander, which is really, really good. We do see the Dialga come down. This is also fine. We might just win due to prizes, might come into effect here, which would be pretty amazing if that's the reason why we win. Uh, we do see a Lysander out on the other Pyroar, which is pretty big here. I think he's just trying to stall for time now. And if that's the case, I think we'll just overall win. Here we'll just pass. We don't run switch or anything in the deck, just more than likely because we can't. Uh, it's just too slow of a card for this deck. And Lysander is just crippling to this deck. So you might want to run a float stone overall. So here we'll just pass. I think he's just trying to go for the deck out. I don't think it'll work overall though. He's just stalling, even though he has his Metagross. He's trying to build up for Mega Agron, that is why. Pretty sure you might switch out into Agron here, but I don't know. Here we'll go out into this Pyroar. More because if I need to... Okay, so he's going to kill the Jirachi, which is kind of a alright play, I guess you could say. Here, I'm going to actually use the DCE to retreat over the Fire Energy. More likely because we kind of want to use the fire energy just in case if I have to detach here, if that makes sense. If I have to detach here to kill this Pyroar, that is what we will do because we don't want the Pyroar uh, just going down here because it would be quite devastating at this point. Here we do see the Shauna, which means we won't see an N, and this is kind of a big thing. Uh, here I can use... I can kill the Metagross, which is really, 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 really nice. This will finally get rid of probably the biggest threat that's down on the field is the Metagross, so we will kill it instantly here. Though our Jirachi is just a sitting duck right now, and he knows it and I know it, know it. so he does still probably have two VS Seekers left in the deck. Um, hopefully he doesn't get them anytime soon, and we can just kind of force the hand and win if that makes sense. But he does Professor Birch's observation, draw three. Hero just killed his Keflaki, I think. Um, here I can actually Lysander out something and kill it. And I think I might do that to the Agron here. Though I can't because I have zero cards in my hand. So we will just end here. And we'll put him down to a low hand size as well. So this is good. 
here I will just take our free prize I guess um, here we do see the other Reggie Steel come out. If I tap deck as a VS Seeker, we're in a really, 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 really good position. But if we don't, I have a feeling we might lose this game. So I can one-shot this Reggie Steel, which is really, really, really nice. And my opponent does concede it. So just sticking through things with this deck, it'll be rough at first, but you can always make a comeback just because your opponent is kind of forced to draw things. Though you will come low on cards, but that's why we run the double N and whatnot. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you guys didn't, tell me why in the comment section below. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.